Welcome everyone, this is Will with ST Game Reviews here with this week's visit from Zer. Hopefully he doesn't disappoint, he has been doing pretty decent, and I don't want to have to go back to calling him Penelope. Well, let's see what he has. If I am here, it is the night. And he ain't got shit. I'm going back to Penelope to tell you the truth, and it's extremely disappointing. Shame on you, Zer. Now, for the Titan, we have the Untermountable Skull Fort, which he's had a million times. A melee replenishes grenade energy, also replenishes health when you pick up an orb, and Storm Fist kills regenerate health. For the Hunter, you have the Lucky Raspberry, which has appeared also a million times. This lets your Arc Bolt chain further. Also, you spawn with grenade energy. You also get to carry more heavy and fusion ammo. For the Warlock, you have Apotheosis Veil, which lets melee hits replenish grenade energy and replenish health when you pick up orbs. Also, activating your super lets you regenerate health. This week's weapon is a universal remote. To be honest, this thing kind of sucks. It's a primary shotgun. It's kind of slow. Uh, it's nothing special about it, to tell you the truth. Uh, you also have your usual exotic shard, and this week's engram is for a helmet. Uh, I'm going to pick up a few and see if I am lucky. Um, spoiler alert, I wasn't. I got the Unsurmountable Skull Fort and the Apotheosis Veil and a Knucklehead Radar, which I already had. Um, so lame sauce all around. Well, either way, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks especially to Zer for sucking. Let's not forget his buddy the Cryptarch, who keeps handing out garbage as well as Zer. Um, not that I'm bitter or anything, but. Thanks everybody for watching, please like and subscribe, also follow us on Twitter, and on that note, I'm out of here.